Hey, my name is Jobby, and today we're taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium Special Color Version. This look for Godzilla is based on his appearance in the film Godzilla 2000. In the film, Godzilla gets his face swallowed by a bigger monster, so check that out if that's what gets you hot and bothered. Also, you should see someone about that. Gross. I love you, baby. And if it's a little too early for that, isn't it? What I'm trying to say is, the painting and the sculpting on this figure is amazing. At first glance, his paint job looks like a simple, boring, dark green. But I'm telling you, there is so much more to the sculpt. The bumps on his skin are perfectly sculpted, and a lot of work was put into making each bump look different. This side doesn't look like this side. Careful, though. Holding this thing is like holding a jagged rock. What I'm saying is it hurts. And there's these subtle gradations of light green on his knees, his belly, and the chest. The paint detail gives him a roughed up dirty look. And I'm really liking the underside of his tail. I like the flowiness of these lines. You could almost see the sculptor's tools making marks into the sculpt. I may have spent too much time thinking about his crotch. Not my fault it's beautiful. The feet are kinda weird. His toes don't even touch the ground, making his feet look like giant shoes with nails stuck on them. Oh wait, that's exactly what they are. And check out these claws! Someone needs a pedicure. They're all cracked up and dirty looking, and each nail looks different from the other. And that looks like an infection. His hands are equally as gross. And these spikes! Ah, shit! They're beautifully chaotic, with every spike coming out at different angles. And each spike is a different size and shape. I really like these frosted tips. Looks like he just finished shooting a huge low- Wow, that came out wrong! And of course, they're a different color from the original Godzilla 2000 figure, which I missed out on. And while I prefer the original's purple spikes, I don't prefer that. And the tail is just majestic. It's literally half the figure's length. And the joint here is a little loose. Looks damaged, actually. This piece on his neck was also damaged, and I didn't even do anything. Unless it's supposed to look like that. At least it doesn't make the rest of the neck look bad. And I actually really like the shape of his neck, is that weird to say? The head sculpt is awesome! It could be the most terrifying Godzilla face I've ever seen. If it weren't for the googly mm. eyes. The rounded pupils give him a lot of personality. From the side, this head's the best. And his teeth are just nasty! While the mouth of the SH Monster Arts 2014 Godzilla had messy paint, it just looked like he took a bite out of some muto butt! What? But this guy just needs a dentist. He also can't scratch his own back or look up all the way, the poor bastard. It's not easy being green. However, the rest of his posability is very, very nice. Got some tongue action. Ball joint here. 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 Look, everything is ball joints. I'm not even exaggerating. So I'm just gonna stop saying that word because I hate saying it more than once. Ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint. The arms move in and out. And they even sculpted armpits. Rotate at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, up and down at the wrist. And if you swivel the wrist, you can get some side to side. A little bit of up and down at the chest. Little bit of side to side. Swivels here. And the same stuff for the waist. He could really bend forwards, but not so much backwards. Ball joints at the hips. And he's got a nice spread. A subtle double jointed knee. Ball joint, ball joint here. That strange calf joint that really helps with the white stances. And a ball joint at the ankles. As for the tail. I love you! The base of the tail is not so poseable, but as you go further down, it gets nuts! Fuck. I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 23 segments in total. Get that 20 segment shit out of here! All these ball joints make the figure incredibly fun to pose. Too bad he can't look up. At least he can look down on smaller figures. Yep, this figure is pretty dang big. Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, Figma Hamura Akemi, the NECA 2014 Godzilla, and of course, the SH Monster Arts 2014 Godzilla. So overall, this figure is amazing! <coughs> I'd say he's equally as awesome as the 2014 Godzilla. Definitely get him if you missed out on the original figure, or if you just like this fantastic Godzilla design. However, you could only get him online. So check the description to see where you can get him. He ain't cheap though. This figure is so good that I could... Hold on a second. Hey, you can turn on the music now. I love you, baby, and if it's quite around, I need you, baby, to warm the lonely night. I love you, baby, trust in me. When
when I say Oh pretty baby Don't bring me down I pray I need you baby Now that I found you say Let me love you baby Let me love you Kill me please You're just too good to be true So if you like this video Give me a like and a comment don't forget to subscribe for more toy reviews. And if you want to see my other stuff, click these annotations and check the description for links. And follow me on Facebook and Google Plus for updates on the figures I review. I'll see you next time. And I thank God I'm lying. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. Can anyone guess what I'm doing for next week? Here's a hint. She's the raspberry. Where's the calf swivel? Where's the calf swivel? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's the calf swivel?